Okay, class. Uh, let's continue. <clears throat> uh, this time, the non-financial assets. Okay, number 33. Inventories. An entity reported inventories of 5,400,000 in its statement of financial position. This amount uh, included the following. So let's see if included properly. So requirement adjusted inventories okay first bullet point equipment held for sale in accordance with pfrs5 that should be reported separately so separate from inventories so minus erroneous erroneously included so minus 52000 Okay, so to be considered as inventory sa dapat held for sale in the ordinary course of business. Kaya kung held for sale yan in accordance with PFRS 5, that is not included in inventories but reported separately. <clears throat> Next, held on consignment minus. Okay, not owned by the entity. Erroneously included. Goods out on consignment, no adjustment, included properly. Goods in transit to customers, so sales transaction. Shipped FOB seller, again, anong item FOB seller? That is FOB shipping point. E di kung FOB shipping point yan, sold already, erroneously included, minus. Sold already yan, while in transit. Goods in transit to customers, shipped FOB buyer. So kung FOB seller ay shipping point, FOB buyer is FOB destination. Still unsold while in transit. Properly included. No adjustment. So FOB destination, still in transit. Properly included. And then office supplies erroneously included minus. So to be considered as inventory dapat for cons uh, okay uh, <clears throat> in the form of materials or supplies to be consumed in the production process. So yung office supplies okay reported yan as other current assets okay or supplies. So erroneously included 54 Minus 52, held for sale in accordance with PFRS 5. Minus 36,000, held on consignment. Minus 87,000, sold already. Minus office supplies, 12,000. As adjusted. Number 33, Delta. 